Hi, Joe. The prestige of the Belmont Stakes hasn't changed, but there are some noticeable differences, as you pointed out. Not only will the race be shorter, but no fans or horse owners will be allowed in. For the very few that do have access, today's atmosphere will be a combination of odd and empty. For the first time since March, New York is hosting a major sporting event. It's a lot, lot different. You know, Belmont Day, you know, everything changing, you know, not the crowd not being here. Well, I've been to a lot of Belmonts, and, you know, usually Belmont Day is a really fun day, which the race is good today. But, you know, there's no buzz, nobody here, uh, no fans. The changes to the Belmont Stakes don't stop there. The Long Island event is normally the last of the Triple Crown races. Belmont is now the lead off. They're coming to the finish, and Sir Winston. Last year, Sir Winston earned the title with millions in attendance. You'd be lucky to find 100 people in the stands this afternoon. Trainers believe each horse will notice and feel the emptiness. They're very intelligent animals like that, you know. Just like, oh, you go home, you want to see your kids, and, you know, your kids look forward to seeing you. The same thing with the horses. Despite its alterations, this year's Belmont for many is still a step in the right direction to normalcy. Well, I think it's great that we have a sporting event, and I think that people are excited about it and being able excited to watch it on TV. And hopefully, if, if it's safe, that this will maybe grow into something that's a little bigger. a few minutes away from the main event. Tis the law is the overwhelming favor to win today's race. If that does happen, it'll be the first time since 1882 that a New York bred horse race has actually won the Belmont. Live in Elmont, Justin Walters. Back to you, Cotty. Okay, thanks for that, Justin.